Standard with Trading Made Simple, I'm going to show you how you can automate an order even on a calendar. We have a calendar spread that we did on MasterCard for tomorrow's uh, earnings, and we're going to go through that right now. But I want to show you how that you can automate the order so that it can exit uh, when it hits basically the edges of this tent. And tomorrow, that will probably be around break even once we have the IB crush. Knowing this allows you to automate your order so that you can get out of the trade if your thesis is not right with a little to no loss. So uh, let's just go ahead and do that. If I uh, bring up uh, our trades here and I say create a closing order, and I say a calendar. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and that so we have some more room. And now you can see where uh, if you put this on your analyze graph, your trade, you can see your trade right here. We put a closing order right here. So what I did is I just clicked on the analyze graph so that I could get a nice marker so that I could utilize that for the stock price for programming. If you like education about uh, automation, please like, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is basically program, right? The the uh, put side of this. So we're going to say, hey, if price breaches this area, and I'm just going to pat it by five or six cents. So we're at 387.26. So we'll just say 387 even. If it breaches 387, then I want you to go ahead and get me out of this. So how do we do that? So what you do is you go right over here to the gear shift. We're going to click it. And we're going to come over here to our conditional order form. Now, What's important about this order form is you need to fill out this first. It's very important for you to fill out this before you do this because you don't know what this is until you figure this out. <laughs> so you could see that if you just hover over the symbol area, there is drop down boxes that you never know, but that's why I'm here. So all you do is click it and tab over and you can see that it defaults to mark, which is great. And you can see that it automatically uh, defaults to the first trigger. Now, the first trigger is less uh, than or equal to. The second trigger is greater than or equal to. And uh, if you get mixed up on that, you just look down here, and it will let you know what it is, less than or equal to on this one. So because this is our put side, we do want it less or equal to. And what did we say that price was? 387.20 uh, is what we decided on. 387 to 20. And we're going to tab out. When you tab out, that guarantees uh, that your directions are proper. If you don't tab out for some weird reason with Thinkorswim and you just start clicking somewhere else, it won't register here. And so you want to make sure that you tab out of this box. All right, so now we got it, right? So when the stock price hits 387.20 or below, we want out of this trade. And how do we want to close it? What do we want to pay for this? So typically speaking, when the trade goes against you, or regardless, you're always wanting to try to get the best possible price. And you can see because we have two legs in a calendar, right? We're selling uh, the closest month uh, option and we're uh, buying the farther uh, option. And so in that sense, because there's two legs, there's a wider spread here. But really, all we need to do, just like if we were sitting in front of our computer, we would just, you know, minus, we'd go over here and minus a couple cents, submit, minus a couple cents, submit. And then, of course, typically, uh, it will get filled. So in this case, we're going to say, hey, look, we're going to give you five uh, cents. We're going to act like we're, we're moving this over five cents here. So um, in that sense, then we're going to come up here and we're going to say, okay, we want to sell this as a limit order. We really don't know what the price is going to be. So because of that, we're going to say mark. And you see how we changed it to zero, zero, because we don't know what the price of the option is going to be. It may not even be, two, it, of course, it's not going to be 242. So what we're going to do is we're going to just say, hey, we want it uh, at the mark, basically, which is mid, right? And we're going to give you five cents. So because this is zero zero, and you can see that the the uh, it's two ten over here, so it's less than right two forty two. So we of course we want the highest price, but we want to you know negotiate just a little bit so we know we have confidence that it's going to get filled. So I'm going to give them. 
five bucks to know that, hey, this thing is going to get filled and get me out of this trade. So I'm going to go negative one, two, three, four, five. And now we have that programmed in. So limit order minus five cents from the mid here. Uh, good till cancel. We want this to happen when the mark is uh, less than or greater to, excuse me, less than or equal to 387.20, and we save it. So we have this order now um, already programmed in. So no matter what I'm doing tomorrow, this typically will get filled, and uh, you may not have a problem with that. Always good, by the way, to have a backup plan. And what would that backup plan be? Well, you could go to your chart and go to 387. 20, uh, click on the chart and create an alert, right? So you get a text message just in case you're out at an appointment to make sure that that order got filled, right, on your phone. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to advanced orders, and this is not a single order. This is called an OCO order, and the reason is, is now we're going to put in a closing order for the call side of this, and when we do that, whichever one uh, ends up working, we're going to, the system is going to cancel it out. So we're programmers right now of Think or Swim. So what we're going to do is go to our hamburger menu, which is right over here uh, in the corner, very little, and you're going to say create a duplicate order. Now when you do that, it's a complete mirror order of the last order, including all your programming. So half the battle is done. We just need to change this price. So this says 415.56. So we'll just say like, 41565. Uh, we'll just pad it a little bit just uh, in case there's a little wick and then it drops back down. You know, I know you know what I'm talking about when I say that. So, yeah, uh, 41565 is fine. So now we go over to the uh, gear icon, and when you bring up the order, you can see everything is already uh, in from our last, but we need to change this to 415. What did I say? 415, I think 65. Yeah. 415.65. We're going to tab out so we could see the writing, the description of our programming right here. Remember that this is less than or equal to, but now we're on the call side. So we have to say greater or equal to, right? And now that we look at the price again, we're going to say we don't know. We don't know that it's going to be 242 when price hits 415. So we're going to say whatever the mid is. Uh, minus that five cents will get me out of there. And then, uh, sorry about that, and then uh, just make sure good to cancel is on. We can read it right here and we hit save. Now we have the order and it's ready to rock and roll. We have good till cancel so this should save us for tomorrow if you have any appointments or you're going to be busy. We're also going to hit uh, confirm and send and you're going to read it on the dialog box. So right over here where it says, hey, we have a calendar to close, and you can see uh, MasterCard at or mark at or below 387.20, uh, mark at or above 415.65, and we're giving them the mid, uh, this is minus 5 and this is minus 5, just to guarantee that it gets us out without any issues. Now remember, if there's a gap, this won't work. You'll see that there is a security tag down here that says, please note that you've selected a weekly option series with a non-standard expiration date. Um, really doesn't uh, mean anything. A lot of times when you put in automated orders, you'll get another order that basically says that there's a widespread, we may not be able to close this order, etc. That's why I say, uh, to make sure that you go to your chart and uh, you put in these parameters right here for an alert so that you could check your phone or do it like, you know, five or, or ten cents beforehand so that you can get your, your basically your alert and warning so that you could uh, check your Thinkorswim uh, phone uh, app to make sure that you get closed. Okay, so that is automation for calendars. Now I have to tell you that we did day trades in our free live stream in our Discord. And uh, I'm telling you that we took like uh, three trades. Uh, one of the trades uh, we did not win. Two of the trades we did. And the one that we did not win, it was with a really small loss. And the reason is, is because our stop losses were automated. 
I teach this constantly when I live trade. I think it's just so important for traders to recognize if you know what your support and resistance levels are and you want to program them in, please do it. It's going to save you uh, not only with speed, but also the market can move so quickly. And during FOMC was one of those great items where we actually programmed a trade. As soon as IWM hit a certain uh, threshold, uh, it clicked. And I tell you, when FOMC hit and those minutes uh, came out, IWM just ran up. And having that trail stop already in and taking profit is why we do this. So if you have any questions, my contact is in the description below. TradingMadeSimple.org, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, hope to see you in our live live stream each trading day. Come check out our indicators for SPY and QQQ. We have our indicators, of course, for every single, single ticker, but on live stream, we have it for SPY and QQQ. That may help you identify where the market's going and make your trades.